Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make Stewie from Family Guy. It should be nice and straightforward. If you want to make him, here's what you're going to need. You will need sunstone block, some block of gold, you'll need black wool, white wool, red, yellow, and finally, light blue wool. We've got quite a few colours there, but those are the only ones that you'll be needing. So once you have those, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right here. You're going to want to start this off with a row of 10 black wool in a row on the floor. 1, 0, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then, what you want to do from this 10th block right here is do two upright diagonals. So, 1 and 2. On top of the second upright diagonal, go up by 3. 1, 2, Three. Then, do an up left diagonal, and go up by 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, do another up left diagonal, and go to the left by 1, to give you something which should look like this. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've reached this point right here, it's time for us to continue on. So, coming back down to this row of four right here, the third row that we built, starting from the bottom block, you want to do two bottom right diagonals, so one and two. From the second bottom right diagonal, you want to go to the right by ten, one, oh, ten. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You then want to do an upright diagonal, and go up by 1. You then want to do 3 up left diagonals, so 1, 2, and 3. You then want to go to the left of that third up left diagonal by 3, so 1, 2, 3. You then want to do a bottom left diagonal, and then go to the left of this bottom left diagonal until you reconnect to the other part of the outline to give you a shape which should look a little bit like this. Pause this if necessary. Once you've done that, it's time for us to go and do the other foot. You may not recognize it as it yet, but that is actually Stewie's right foot. And that middle bit there, the bit that we kind of just did and left alone, that's the crease in his leg. So come over to the first block that you should have placed, the first block in our initial row of 10. Starting from the first block, you want to do an up left diagonal. And then go up on top of it by two, one, two. Then do an upright diagonal. And go to the right by one. Then do an upright diagonal. And go to the right by one, and then go up by one. But once you've went up by one, return back down to this line right here, the first block that you went to the right by one with, and go to the right by a further two. So one, two. Then do a bottom right diagonal, and go right of that bottom right diagonal until you reconnect with the middle part of our pixel art to give you something which should look a little bit like this, and that is Stewie's left foot there. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to continue on, but let me just give you a quick shot of what you want to have made so far. As I said, you've just made both of his feet and the crease in the middle of his legs. So, continuing on. Come over to the left foot, and starting from this block right here, the one that sticks up all by itself, that's why I had you guys do this, to find it easy. From this block right here, do an up left diagonal, and go up by 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then do an up left diagonal, and go up by 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then do an upright diagonal, and go up by 1. Then do an up left diagonal, and go up by 2, 1, 2, to give you something which should look like this. Once you've done that, you then want to return to this little row of 2 that we have here, and this time you want to do an upright diagonal from the top row of 2. 
You then want to go up on top of this diagonal by by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then do an upright diagonal and go up by 1. Go to the left of the block that you just placed by 1, but then go to the right of it by 2. 1, 2. And then from that second block going right, do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by 1. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go to the left by 1. So you reconnect back to the outline and give you a shape which should look a little bit like this. Pause this if necessary, of course. I was going to leave this until a little later, but whilst we're here, I figure we may as well do it. So, starting from here, where we have these two bottom black blocks right here that we just placed, on top of these two blocks, stack two rows of two gold block, like so. And then on top of the two rows of two gold block, just stack a row of two black wool, like so. And those are just the buttons on Stewie's suspenders, or I should say that is one of the buttons that uh, Stewie has on his suspenders, the other one we're going to be doing a little later on. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we're going to continue on. So, what you want to do is come to the top of what we've just made, where we have this weird shape here, and where we went to the left by one ever so slightly earlier, this block right here, you just want to do three bottom left diagonals from this block. So one, two, and three. You want to go down from the third bottom left diagonal by one. Then do another bottom left diagonal and go down by one. Then do another bottom left diagonal and go down by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go to the right by one so you reconnect to the outline. Then once you've done that you want to return to this first block here, the first bottom right diagonal and from the block you want to do a bottom left diagonal and then go down by one. Then do two bottom right diagonals so one and two to give you something which should in total look a little bit like this, and that is just Stewie's left arm, or right arm, depending from which view you're looking from. Pretty easy. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to continue on. So continuing on, first of all we're going to build the other suspender, and then we're going to start building from the other side up. So come to the top right hand corner of your pick slot, and locate this block right here, the upper of the two blocks that we have. Starting from this block, you want to go right of it by 10 with your black wall. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. From that 10th block, you then want to go down by 2. So 1, 2. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go down by 3. So 1, 2, 3. Then do another bottom left diagonal. Go to the left by 1. Then do an up left diagonal and go up by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Then finish this off by doing an upright diagonal, which is pretty much just placing a block right here, to give you something which should look like this. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've reached this point, we're now just going to make the other button for the suspender. So you just want to do the exact same thing that you did on the other side. You want to do your two rows of gold and then your one row of black wool, like so. Once you've done that, we just have one more row to add before we start building from the ground up. So, starting from in line with this second row of gold here, so starting from here, this black block next to it, you just want to go left of this black block with your black wall and connect both buttons together, like so. Very simple. 
Once you've done that, I feel as though it's time for us to start seeing this from the other side. So come down to the bottom right hand side of your pick slot where we have Stewie's right foot and this row of four right here. Starting from this block right here, the second block coming in from the right hand side of the row, you want to go up on top of this block by one with your black wall. Then do an upright diagonal and go up by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the left of the fifth block of your row of six by one. Then return back up to the sixth block. Do an upright diagonal from the top. Then go up by one. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up by two. One, two. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up by two. One, two. Then go to the left by three. One, two, three. Then do an up left diagonal. Then do two bottom left diagonals. So one and two. Then do a bottom right diagonal. Go to the right by one and go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go to the right by one to give you something which should look a little bit like this. You may not be able to tell right now, but that's Stewie's hand. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to continue on. So I feel as though we will make the crease between his arm and his body first. So starting from this single block right here, you want to go up by two. One, two. Then do an up left diagonal and go up by four. So one, two, three, four. Then starting from the middle block of the row of five that you've just formed, this one right here, Go to the left of it by one. Then do an up left diagonal, which should connect diagonally to the little button of his suspenders, like so. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to build the outer part of his arm. So come up to the top right hand corner of Stewie's hand, which is this block right here, and do an upright diagonal from it. And then go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then do an up left diagonal and go up by three. So one, two, three. Then do an up left diagonal. And go up by one. Then do two up left diagonals. So one and two. Oops, that's not an up left diagonal. On top of the second up left diagonal, go up by one. And then go to the left by three. One, Two, three, which should connect diagonally to the upper right hand corner of the right suspender and give you something which should look exactly like this. Pause this if necessary of course. Once you've reached this point right here you have successfully made Stewie's entire body. So once you've reached this point right here, it's time for us to make Stewie's giant melon shaped head. So come up to the top but left hand corner of your pick slot, where we have this row of four right here. Starting from the left, this first block right here, you want to do an up left diagonal. Then go to the left by two, one, two. Then do another up left diagonal. Go to the left by one. Then do another up left diagonal. Go to the left by one. You then want to do, I'm sorry guys, this requires a little bit of counting. You want to do nine up left diagonals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. From the ninth up left diagonal, you want to go to the left by two, one, two. Then do another up left diagonal and go up by two, one, two. Then do an upright diagonal. Go to the right by one and then go up by one. Then do an upright diagonal and go up by one. Then do another upright diagonal. Go up by one. Then do four upright diagonals. So one, two, 
3, and 4. From the 4th upright diagonal, you first want to go right by 1, you then want to go down by 1, but you also want to go up by 1, on top of the block that you just went to the right by 1 with, like this. Then, starting from the upper block, this one right here, you want to do 3 upright diagonals, so 1, 2, and 3. Go to the right of the 3rd upright diagonal by 1. Then go down by 2. 1, 2. Then return up to this right block here. This upper one. And from this block, do an upright diagonal. Then go to the right by 1. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 2. So 1, 2. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 1. Then go down by 2, 1, 2. Then do a bottom left diagonal, and go down by 1. Then return up to the top of what you've just made, right here. Starting from this right block, you then want to continue going right by 2, 1, 2. Then do an upright diagonal, and go to the right by 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. Then go down by 1, then do a bottom left diagonal, and go down by 1, then do another bottom left diagonal. Once you've done that, you then want to return back up to here, this block right here that we first started going down from, and continuing going right, you want to do a row of 6 going right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 which should give you something that should look, in total, a little bit like this. I know that we've done quite a lot, but hopefully you guys shouldn't find it too complicated. There aren't really too many long rows in there. There's only just the one very long row, that one that sits on top, halfway point for the head. That's just simply a row of 11. So pause this if necessary, of course, Make sure that yours looks roughly like this. Once you've done that, we're now going to start building up from the other side of the head. As I've mentioned quite a few times already, I really do hate building down. Building up is much more my forte. So, coming down to the top right-hand corner of Stewie's right shoulder, this block here, you want to do, from this block, an upright diagonal. Then go to the right by 2, 1, 2. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 1. Then do another upright diagonal. Go to the right by 1. Then do... 9 upright diagonals. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. On top of the ninth upright diagonal, go up by 1. Go to the left of that block by 1, but also go to the right of it by 2, so 1, 2. Then, from that second block going right, do an upright diagonal. And go up by 2, 1, 2. Then do an up left diagonal. Go to the left by 1. Then do an up left diagonal. And go up by 1. Then do another up left diagonal. Go up by 1. Then do 5 up left diagonals. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From the 5th up left diagonal, go to the left by 1. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down from that block by 1 to give you something which should look like that. Once you've done that, you then want to return to this row of two right here, and on top of the left block, you want to go up by one. Then do two up left diagonals, so one and two. Go to the left of the second up left diagonal by one. Then do another up left diagonal. Go to the left by one. Go down by 1, then do a bottom left diagonal, to give you something 
which should look like that. Once you've done that, you then want to return back up to your row of two, and starting from the left block, you want to do an up left diagonal. Go to the left by two, one, two. Then do another up left diagonal. And go to the left by three, so one, two, three. From that third block, you want to go down by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by one. Then finish this all off by doing a final bottom left diagonal to give you something which should look a little bit like this. So I thought it would be a good idea to covertly cut out for you guys so that you could actually see the head in the daylight instead of the dusk. This is what you want to have for the head in its entirety. Hopefully you guys had an easy enough time doing that. It's not actually too difficult a shape. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, the last difficult thing that we have to do is now all of Stewie's facial features. So come down to the middle part of the bottom of the head, this long row here. And starting from the most left block of the row, which is this one right here, you want to go up on top of this block by five with your sandstone. So one, two, three, four, five. You then want to go up by two with your black wall on top of the fifth sandstone. So one, two. From the second black block, you want to go right of the block by two, but you also want to go left of the block by one, like so. Continuing from the left block that you placed, you want to do an up left diagonal. You then want to do an upright diagonal. Go up on top of the second upright diagonal by one with your sensor. Then take out your black wall again and go up by one on top of your sandstone. Then do an up left diagonal. Then do two upright diagonals, so one and two. What you have just made there is Stewie's mouth and nose. Pause if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's now time for us to make Stewie's left eye. So come to the middle part of his nose, this left block right here. Going left of this block, you want to do two sandstones. So one, two. You then want to take out your black wall and go left by 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On top of this eleventh block, you want to go up by three. So one, two, three. Then do three upright diagonals. So one, two, three. Go to the right of this third upright diagonal by four. So one, two, three, four. Then do three bottom right diagonals. So one, two, three. Go down from this third bottom right diagonal until you reconnect with the long row of 11 of the eye to give you something which should look like this. Once you've done that, we now have to make the bottom part of the eye. So come down underneath your long row of 11 and starting from the left, you want to find the second block in, which is this one right here, and you want to go down from this block by one. You then want to do two bottom right diagonals, so one and two. Go right of the second bottom right diagonal by four, so one, two, three, four. Then do two upright diagonals, so one and two. The second one should connect with the middle part of the eye and look exactly like this. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's now time for us to make Stewie's eyebrow. So come up to the top of the eye, this row of five here. Starting from the first block on the left, go up on top of this block with your sandstone by two, one, two. Then go up by one with your black wall. Then go to the right by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. Go to the right by three, one, two, three. Then do a bottom right diagonal, and go to the right by one. That is Stewie's eyebrow. It should look exactly like this. 
pause this if necessary, of course. That is all you have to do regarding Stewie's eye. However, whilst we are on this left side, all you want to do is come over to the most left-hand side here of the whole head, the pointy bit, and you just want to do this. You just want to add in those two blocks in that position right there, and that is just Stewie's ear canal. Very simple. So once you've done all of this, and as always, pause this if necessary, of course, it's time for us to go ahead and do the other eye. So coming to Stewie's nose again, and in the same position as we placed the sandstone going to the left, you want to this time go to the right, and you want to go to the right with your sandstone from this block by 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You then want to take out your black wall, and you want to go to the right by 11. This next bit may seem familiar to you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Go up on top of the 11th block by 3. So 1, 2, 3. Then do 3 up left diagonal. So 1, 2, 3. Go to the left of the third up left diagonal by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Then do 3 bottom left diagonals. So 1, 2, 3. Then go down from the third bottom left diagonal to give you a shape that should look like this. Exactly the same as the other eye. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we now have to do the bottom part of the eye. So coming down to the bottom left-hand side of our row of 11, starting from the second block in again, this one right here, you want to go down by 1. Then do two bottom right diagonals, so 1 and 2. Go to the right of the second bottom right diagonal by 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Then do two upright diagonals, so 1 and 2. The second upright diagonal should connect perfectly to our row of 11 and give you something which should look exactly like this. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we also have to do the eyebrow for this eye. So coming to the right-hand side of the top of the eye, right here, starting from the most right block, you want to go up with your sandstone by 2. So 1, 2. Then, do a single black wall. Go to the left of that black wall by 1. Then, do a bottom left diagonal. Go to the left by 2. 1, 2. Then, do a bottom left diagonal. And go to the left by 1. To give you something which should look a little bit like this. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, all we have to do on this side of the head, just as we did on the other side, is Stewie's little ear canal. So on the right hand side there, there you go, you want to do the exact same thing that you did over on the left, those two blocks right there, and you are finished. And actually I've just thought of something guys. I, you guys could have probably have figured this out on your own, although I figure I may as well just show you guys the 100% correct proper placement. So, the last thing that we have to do before we fill in large blocks of colour is Stewie's pupils. So, starting with Stewie's left eye, starting from the right-hand side here on top of our row of 11, you want to take out your white wall, and you want to locate the fourth block in, starting from this block. So, one, two, three, four, this block right here. Go up on top of this block by one with your white. Then go up by one with your black. There you go, that's Stewie's left pupil. Pause this if necessary. Let's go and do the right pupil. So this time starting from the right hand side, well I suppose we did the right hand side the other one as well, it's the exact same thing really, it's in the exact same position. So starting from the right hand side, going to the left by what is essentially three since that's the first block, second, third, fourth block on top of this one, just go up by one with your white, then up by one with your black to give you something which should look exactly like this. As you can see, it's in the exact same position as the other pupil. And that means that we are 100% done with Stewie's outline. There is nothing left for us to do 
for the outline. All we have to do now is fill in large volumes of colour. So this is how it's going to work, and it doesn't really matter that it's a little dark, to be honest with you. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. So I'm going to be filling the upper part of the eyes in with white, the lower part of the eyes in with sandstone, the rest of the head in with sandstone. I'll be filling Stewie's dungarees in with red wool. I'll be filling the arms in with yellow. I'll be filling the hands in with sandstone. And I'll be filling his boots, or shoes I should say, his shoes in with light blue wool. So, darkness couldn't have came at a more perfect time. I'm going to be back once I have 100% coloured Stewie in. You guys won't need any instructions for this, it's going to be very, very obvious what you have to do with what once it's done. Back in a moment. So I have just finished adding all of the colour into Stewie and this is what he should come out looking like. He should be pretty colourful and for the most part pretty angry. Look at those eyes. There's hatred in those eyes. But this is what you want to have once he... <clears throat> So I have just finished adding all of the colour into Stewie, and this is what he should come out looking like. He should be pretty colourful, and for the most part, pretty angry. Look at those eyes. There's hatred in those eyes. Oh, it's a good job I'm not Lois. So this is what he should look like once he is completely finished. As I mentioned, it's actually really easy to tell which colours should go where. Not too complicated whatsoever. Um, light blue shoes. Um... Red dungarees, yellow shirt, make sure you fill in the bottom part of his eyes in with sandstone and then the rest of the head in with sandstone and there you go, very simple indeed. So that is the tutorial 100% over, I hope that you guys had an easy enough time following it, I really hope you did, it's, I don't think there's anything too complicated in it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>